Hello, in this presentation, I will introduce transformation matrices. This presentation is in fact divided into two parts. In the first part, I will focus on the most basic concepts of uh, transformation matrices and homogeneous uh, coordinates, while in the second part, I will focus on basic transformation matrices and their composition. Therefore, the aims of this presentation are, on the one hand, to understand the concept of homogeneous coordinate for representing a point in 3D space. In fact, we will see how to transform a point in Cartesian coordinates to homogeneous coordinates and vice versa. This will lead us to introduce transformation matrices, which will allow us to perform geometric transformations using basic algebraic equations. We will also see the elements of a homogeneous transformation matrix, and specifically, we will focus on basic translation and rotation operations and their composition in the second part of this presentation. Finally, we will see some numerical examples that will help you to consolidate the acquired knowledge. In the 3D space, a point in homogeneous coordinate is represented by four coordinates, three co corresponding to the position coordinates and another one corresponding to a scaling. The representation in homogeneous coordinates is not unique and therefore there are infinite combinations of homogeneous coordinates that represent the same point. We can transform a point in homogeneous coordinates to Cartesian coordinates by dividing the three first coordinates with a scale coordinate. Here we see some basic examples of the representation of the same 3D point in homogeneous coordinates. It also shows how to convert a point in Cartesian coordinates to, homogeneous, uh, to a homogeneous point by adding a 1 at the end or just the opposite, by dividing the homogeneous coordinates by its scaling coordinate. We can obtain the original Cartesian coordinates of the 3D point. As it can be observed, if the scale is a 1, then the first three coordinates are the same as the Cartesian coordinates. The advantage of working with homogeneous coordinates is that that will allow us to work with or to deal with geometric transformations by computing the multiplication of matrices. Operations such as rotation, translation, change of perspective, scaling can be performed under the same concept with basic algebraic operations. A homogeneous transformation matrix is a 4x4 four four matrix that includes four elements mentioned before. They are used in applications such as computer graphics, vision systems, robotics, among others. In fact, in robotics, we use a simplification in which we only consider rotation and translation, and therefore, for us, a homogeneous transformation matrix will always look like a 3 by 3 submatrix representation representing the, the orientation of a reference frame O, U, V, W with respect to the fixed frame O, X, Y, Z, and the translation vector of such mobile frame. For example, a transformation matrix to represent a pure translation looks like the following matrix. In this case, the transformation matrix indicates the displacement between the origins. In this simple example, we will see a first use of a transformation matrix. In this case, we want to obtain the coordinates of a point P with respect to the frame O, X, Y, Z. That point is indeed expressed with respect to the frame O, U, V, W, the mobile reference frame, which is the given data. As you can see, calculating or computing the coordinates of the point P is as simple as computing the multiplication of T times P parima. On the other hand, a reference frame can be represented with an arbitrary rotation matrix R and whose homogeneous transformation matrix will look like this. As seen above, the rotation matrix is a submatrix of the transformation matrix. In this other example, we will see an application of the transformation matrix again. We want to compute the coordinates of P with respect to the fixed frame O, X, Y, Z. Our data is the point P prima, expressed with respect to the mobile frame O, U, V, W, and the transformation between the reference frames. 
With that information, we can compute the coordinates of P by multiplying again T times P prime. In general, we will see that a transformation matrix represents the combination of a rotation followed by a translation with respect to the fixed frame. But this, is the, this can be seen in a different way because a transformation matrix can be also seen as a translation followed by a rotation with respect to the mobile frame. This is something that we will see in more detail in the second part of the presentation, how to transform or compose transformations. To conclude this part of the presentation, we can see an example in which we have two reference frames, the fixed frame OXYZ and the mobile frame OUVW that has been rotated and then moved. Based on this transformation, we can compute the coordinates of a point P with respect to the fixed frame OXYZ if we know the coordinates of the point P prima with respect to the mobile frame OUVW. As you can see, the maths are again the same, very simple. In this video, we have introduced the concept of homogeneous coordinates as well as the homogeneous transformation matrices. In the following video, I will explain some basic operations that we can perform with this transformation matrix in order to get a composition of transformations. Thank you very much.